Hey guys, so it's the Candidate Films here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to get and use Cinema 4D Drowsy. I don't remember how you say it, but um, it's a pretty cool plugin. Basically, what you can do is with it is you can make, uh, I believe it's one. Yeah, that's really bad quality, but you know, you know that shatter is drowsy. And it's free, and if you go to this website, which I will put in the description, this will come up, and it's in freebie, you know, throw it right there. Okay, so, basically, if you have, you know, system, Windows, and Mac 32-bit, so then you would click the download throw right here, and then you would unzip it, and so let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Just so, and then you click OK, and then, as you can see, it's for cinema R11.5, R12, R13, R14. I have these three, I do not have R11.5, so I can't show you with that, but, you know. And so you just go like this, and here it is. And so there's Throzzy. And actually, I'm going to delete my Throzzy, because I didn't get it from. So this is, this is it. So you're just going to, you know, extract it or drag it or whatever you do. doesn't really matter. Delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to here, go to a couple disk, uh, plugins. Yeah, see, mine says R12, but I don't think it matters. And then, let's see, in that one, R13, plugins. Oh, Magic Snow. I didn't even know that I had that. Just put that in there, because I don't, I know I don't have it in R13. And then R14, I have to see, so, okay. So, yeah, basically, so what you're going to do is you're going to go here, you know, well, um, let's do the biggest screen right there. There we go. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Isn't this bigger one do it? I think that's bigger. Yeah. Just a little, just about a little bit. Okay, so anyway. So to do drowsy, which, what I start out with is a floor. There we go. And you know, let's get a matte hair color. Let's just make it. I like to make the floor like a kind of a darker and reflection, about 50%. Do it like that. And then we will see here. Alright, so you're just gonna press. You're gonna click floor and you're gonna press control C, control V, and then it'll copy it, click on the color, delete that. And then you're going to do this. And I, then I like to make it white. Do a reflection. You no, know, nice white reflection. So then when you press render, oh whoops, hold on one second, and then you go down here to P do 90, and then just scoot you back. There you go. And then when you render it, that's what it looks like. So it looks nice and shiny. Alright. So next you're going to go to Motex to get a Motex there. And I'm just going to put uh, the K. Uh, whoops. The K and H. And you're going to put the depth at 60. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Just need to move this real quick. Move it to the center. And it don't it doesn't matter about these because it renders them out. See, so it yeah. So whoops, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. There we go. And so now if you can look, you yeah, see that's there. And so oh, I forgot to change change the text. So let's change the font to Balter. That's my favorite right there. It's pretty, it's pretty sick font. Alright, and then we're gonna put it right in the middle. And that's all in 60, so you're just gonna press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You can change the depth to 30, or, you know, 40, whatever, 40, I guess. And yeah, you're just gonna move it, move it, and then once you've done that, you're gonna go to the side. And you can see the other font. And you're just going to move it to the middle. Uh, oops. 
Right there's about good, so then. Uh, all right, now we're gonna get like a text here. Or not a text, a uh, color. I'm right, just gonna do, let's see, what's good colors? All right, how about black and yellow? So yellow, reflection, gotta get a good reflection going on that. There we go. Put the yellow there. And then that's already new colors. Let's just go. Whoops. Put that there. Oh, well, that's what I wanted black. So. Mm. There we go. So we're going to render that out. Looks pretty sweet. Okay. So. Now we're ready for Thrazi. Basically, what you're going to do is after you put it in your plugins folder, you're going to go here. You're going to go Thrazi. And you're just going to hit this one. Let's just go around, I don't know, like 30 pieces. Press break now. Okay. Oh, whoops. You gotta highlight the text, too. So once you've highlighted the text, you know, press 30, press break now. Alright, and it'll do its, like, thing. You'll see it, like, cracking it and stuff. Drowsy is a little glitchy, glitchy too. Like, sometimes it'll say, you either can't break this, or it'll make, like, some editable um, stuff over on the side. Just don't worry about it. Just... Change the angle, that's what always helped me. Um, yeah, and so I'm just gonna pause the video because it's gonna take a while. Okay, guys, so um, it is done, and this is what it'll look like. It says, you know, 40, whatever. You just close that, and this should pop up. Throws you, you know, it's got like a bunch of crap in it. Don't mess with any of this. And so, right now, it should play at the very beginning. Yeah, and so you see that how it's, you know, like that. So basically, to make the glass so it doesn't, so like it doesn't go through the floor, cause watch, it'll just go through the floor. See, it's gone. All right. So we're gonna do the fix that. As you go to floor, you go to dynamic tags and to click dynamic bodies on both of them. All right. So now when you play it, sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that accent. Now it um it goes slides along the top. So okay. And so now you're just gonna. Get something like, uh, you know, gonna highlight the whole thing. Oh, by the way, make this somewhere around like 180 seconds. 90 seconds is only 3 seconds long, and it's not enough. So that's 6. Now let's make it 200. No, 180 is good. Never mind. Alright, so 180 frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it shatter. At a hundred. Yeah, no, no, 120. Yes, that's four seconds in. No, 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 no. 100, yeah, 100. No, no, let's go 90. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a keyframe at 90. I think that's right. Keyframe. Keyframe. And make sure you have all of this. Um, highlighted. So you're going to go to dynamics and or sometimes it'll say dynamic body. I don't know why it doesn't say it right now. But what you're going to do is you're going to click this button and you're going to uncheck enabled on zero and you're going to hold control and click that. Make sure it's red. And then you're going to go to 90 and you're going to hold control, click it, make sure it's red and then enable it. And then click this and now, so see, now it does not break at the very beginning. And so, it'll play like that, the K-N-H, and then, boom, shatter. And then, you know, it'll slide and whatever. Alright, so now it's time to add films. Basically, what you're going to do is... Now, I have not experimented with this in a while, but my uh, theory is... Is that... So we're just gonna, oh, sorry, we're gonna get uh, another mo text. We're gonna change that to 60. Go here and go films. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, it's right, it's right, it's right. We're gonna go to font, we're gonna get Balter. And then, ah, uh, just. Control C, Control V. We're gonna change the depth to 30. Or what did I? 
It was at 30, 40. I think it was 40. I don't remember though. Alright, so let's check this real quick. And you're going to just highlight them both like that and move them up so you can actually see or move them to the side or whatever. I don't really care. I think it was 30. Oh, whoops. And then just do the Motex 1. Slide it over. Yeah, it was 30. Or no, it was 40. Because, yeah, 40. Not bad. And you're just going to drag the yellow to Motex 1 and then the black to Motex. And now it should be the same as... Or, sorry. And then, yeah, you have Motex 1 highlighted. Move a little bit forward. Move it a little bit up. There we go. And so then it should be the pretty close to the same. Alright, so you're just going to highlight that and drag it down to there. Try and make it so it looks like it's sitting on the floor. The other one needs to be up a little bit so it looks better when it's reflecting. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do... Alright, let's save first. It's, yeah, by, by the way, it's a good idea to save. So I'm just going to do it with this YouTube. Oh, wow. That was, um, that's embarrassing. Not really. I'm just going to do this YouTube desktop. Save. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this one first. Rotation. And what you're going to do is you're going to put, uh, let me think about this for a second, a keyframe there, and wherever you broke it, which I broke mine at 90, a keyframe there, yeah, that's right, and you go back to zero and you're going to push the button again, and you're just going to turn the yellow, make sure it's only the yellow, 360 degrees, and right there is good. It doesn't have to be exactly 360, it just has to be close. Okay, so then when we play it, okay, so now, so it spins. So now, click this again, you're going to click the other, the black one. And I think I'm going to rotate it the opposite direction. Oh, whoops. Back. Okay. No, this Almost there, 360, that's good enough. All right, so then it should, no, 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 okay. So sorry about that, you have to put a keyframe. So keyframe there, 90, whoops, 90, keyframe there. Go back to zero, push this, and then do it. Make sure if you do the yellow one negative like I did, then do this one the positive, like turning it positive. Whoa, way too much. There we go. All right, so now it should do it. Yeah. All right, so you see that, how they both turned? Okay. And so then it shatters. So that's not what we're going to do, though. What we're going to do is next, you're going to click this. And you're going to click that button again, and you're just going to drag it somewhere. So I'm going to drag my own, that one over there, and then unclick it, and then go to that one, click this again, and then drag it over there. And so now, it should, both of them should come flying over, so then, watch this. So they meet up, and then that shatters. Okay. All right. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Um, uh, my glasses too far off the ground. I don't think I can move it though. Otherwise, it'll mess up. Yeah. See. Alright, yeah, sorry. See that? Alright. And that's pretty much it. And then I guess 
what you can do is at like 150 I guess you can shatter this as well I would save it first though so I'm gonna save alright so let's just make sure that that's correct uh whoops now it opened up R14 alright whatever so alright so I guess you can do this so plugins throw out the let's just 30 pieces Break now. Yeah, see, I think it, it did the funky thing again. Yep, see? Alright, so you don't want that, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to break it. I can. Um, open with. Cinema 40. I don't like using these. I like using this one. R12. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do is what we could do actually is so at like 150 let's just do keyframe this goes to 180 frames so let's just do keyframe there and then okay so I'm just gonna spin it like this so that's positive. So do 360 again. Alright. There. So that's about 360. And then it doesn't really matter because it's going to be moving. Oh, that's alright. I'll go back. Alright. Now we're going to do it. So yeah, this is that button that I clicked is basically the record button. So it's going to record pretty much anything you do on the screen. Which is kind of nice. Alright, so there we go. So now when we play it, it should do a 360 thing. Okay, so... I'm trying to stop it on 150. There we go. Alright. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click no. You're gonna go to this one, do a keyframe there, keyframe at 180, go back to 150, click the record button, you're gonna go the opposite way. So see how mine's negative? If you go back to the video, go back in the video, you'll see what I mean by negative and positive. Oh, exactly 360. What? Alright, so now they should spin opposite directions. Yep, so alright, so you see that? And then they spin opposite directions. Alright. This is perfect. Alright, so you go back to 150 and you're gonna click that one or whatever one you want and you're gonna click the or the move button. And then that one it doesn't really matter where they go. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like that. Like that. And then click the other one, do the same thing, except the other way, like that. Alright, so it should do... Oh, whoops. Alright. That's my fault. Alright, so go back two steps. There we go. Alright, so, and sometimes it glitches, so, like, it doesn't actually break there. It just sometimes glitches that way, so. Right now we're watching it, so it's I'm spinning, doing, whoa, that looks actually pretty cool. Oh, I know why, it's because we did a funky thing over here. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so. Can you even tell what it says? Okay, shatter, stop. Films. Okay, so right there, that's that films. And so then you're just gonna. Mm, yeah, that's right. 
just going to take it and drag it somewhere else. No, 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 no. Okay, so I think if you go to one, yeah, go to 180 and then drag it somewhere else. Click the record button, drag it somewhere else. And then stop it, and then click the other one. Record button, drag it over there. Okay, so there we go. So now it should do what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. So now we got a full intro. Okay, that's better. All right. So now what we're going to do is, so if you want it closer, like, you know, up there or something, doesn't matter. You can if you want to. You just got to see what it looks like rendering. Now that looks pretty good. But see how it's like crooked? You can have it crooked. You know, you can have it like that. I mean, that would look pretty cool. I mean, and you got to make sure you got your render settings right. So when you go general, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, full render. Go to output. This is where it gets tricky. The best one for, in my opinion, is 1280 by 720, but you don't have to do that. And make sure where it says current frame, make sure to put it at all frames. And when you go to save, you know, save to something. That works. And then I do QuickTime Movie because I hate AVI, but that's just me. And I like to save to my desktop, but you don't have to do that either. Alright, and that's pretty much it. Um. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this first, so if I don't like what it looks like when it renders. And to render it, all you do is push this. And if you have all frames selected, it'll do it with all frames. And so that's what it, that's what it looks like rendered. And so then when it's done, you know, see it's taken like, I don't know, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so about 10 seconds. Per thing, so 180 times 10, so that's about 1,800 seconds. So that's how much long it'll take. So I'm going to pause the video, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, I'm back, and um, as you can see, it has finished, and it'll create this really long thingy, Madhuhiki. That's named whatever your thing is. You can just delete it. it doesn't really matter. You just delete it clean some more clean so here it is here's the one i just okay why is this not playing just give me a second this is really making me mad choose default the program quick time player all right so when we open this it should there we go oh all right so here it is So that's my new intro. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I might make a few changes to it, but I will show you some of the other intros I made. So this one has music. That's why it's really bad. This one doesn't. This is the original. Yeah, as you can see, it looks a lot better. Boom. You know. And then... My, let's see, Remoticon, look him up on YouTube. This is the first intro I made. It wasn't that good, but I liked it. And then the second intro I made is this one. And this one is a lot better. Here it is. And then, I'm trying to remember what this one is. Oh, yes, this is one that QuickTime Player cannot play. It's, and it's like really humongous. Uh, eh. There we go. It's, it's, too, it's too advanced for QuickTime Player to play. It's even have trouble playing it right now. Yeah, see, it lags. Stop. <laughs> so, basically, you get the idea. It goes like that, and then... There's, like, a shine thing, and, yeah. It's pretty laggy. 
and then this one's the same as this one. I'll show you it anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's the same as mine. So, yeah. And Oh, and then there's this one. I don't remember what this one is, actually. For some reason it didn't open up. Open, open, open. Oh, yeah. This one I was experimenting with hair. On Cinema 4D. So, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. They see, this one's laggy, too. Wait for it to load. And then, yeah, the, the canage one shatters, but it's laggy. So, yeah, that's how you use Thrazi. And I'll put the link in the description. And, oh, by the way, one more thing. Um, so, whatever angle you render it at, renders, like, you know, this thing. You know, this thing. Um, that's the angle that it will... <laughs> render at so that's why I put it at this angle when I left because that's the angle that it rendered as so like as you can see this is my video that I created today I think yeah so yeah see that see how it's at that angle and so it's a pretty good inch I actually kind of like this one I might actually use it. You can't really read films, though. But, I don't know. And this is the save. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye!